what is going on guys ninja here and today i actually got you guys a new video and well remember that time how i told you guys that i was going to be posting daily well school got in the way well again i keep i always keep saying that school got in the way and blah blah, blah. but now it's summer you know i actually have a break and well i can actually do videos especially when i was actually trying to do videos this little fuck over here was acting up on me a lot is the Ogato HD16 and um yeah I was actually having a lot of trouble in order to like record like game audio and chat audio and shit like that I was having a lot of trouble until I actually found a solution how to do that so you actually if you guys actually want to know how to record uh, how do you go how to record game chat or you know um yeah game chat or game audio while playing and having your head to connected to your controller same time you know just I'll do another video just coming down below like oh I want to know how to do it I want to know how how you do that and stuff like that you know and I'll make a video of it but anyways today I'm actually gonna be opening up um, this new controller made from Nikon it's a PS4 and it's called Nikon Revolution Pro Controller I'm actually gonna be opening it up opening it up oh sorry about that and yeah Actually, it's pretty cool. Let's see. What does it say? Each sport, each sports design for controller. Revolution. Okay, whatever, whatever. And this is the front and the back of the controller. And those are the weights. And yeah, anyways, whatever. Let's just open up the damn controller. And, and just open up the damn box, actually. So when you slide it open, when you slide it out, let's just throw that over there. When you slide it out, it comes like this. You can actually see it. You can actually tell. I don't know if you can actually tell the little snake logo. Right there. Okay. So you open it up. Ooh, it actually looks pretty fancy. Let's see. Okay, so that's the controller itself. Now, let's try to take this out. Ooh, look at that. I know we can't really see it. Sorry about that. Damn, that looks pretty nice actually. Now the controller is actually, it looks more like um, like an Xbox One um, controller with a PS4, you know, mixed. And I thought it was actually pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of these, like, it's kind of like that, because I'm more of a PS4. I've always played PS4. Well, I used to play Xbox as well. Don't get me wrong, like, both are great consoles and everything. I, um, I would prefer, like, I'm not trying to, like, say that PS4 is better, but in my opinion, it kind of is. Because, like, you know, I just, I changed, I was from Xbox, and I changed to PS4, and I just think it's better, in my opinion, you know, but... But I personally think that you should get like whichever console you want. Like both are great consoles, but you should get the console that you have more friends on, so you can play with them and stuff like that, right? It, Cause yeah, other than that, it doesn't really matter. Both are great consoles. They both do the same thing, and they both entertain you the same way. So yeah. Oh, and especially in if you love a game or something, well, get that console. Cause some of like let's say PS4 has like The Last of Us, Xbox doesn't, stuff like that. So there we go. And this is how the controller looks like. It actually looks almost the same as a. Hold up, let me put it over here because it's more light. It actually looks like the like an Xbox One controller. Look, has the head the headphone jack right there. The triggers, they actually look like the Xbox One controller a lot. I'm actually a really big fan of this controller. Like, it's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it may look ugly. Some of, um, a lot of people say it looks ugly. Or maybe the feeling is really bad. And no, these are my opinions of, my, of this controller, okay? And uh, why it's actually pretty good. So, uh, this is actually my, hold up. Let me show you my a PS4 controller. Actually, let me show you the black one instead. Look, this, is a, this is a normal PS4 controller. Normal PS4 controller. 
This is the original one as well, so. Okay. And this is my custom made, uh, customized, custom made. Yeah, this, uh, this is my customized controller. I got the, the little, what's it called? The little grips on top of it, the joysticks. I got the side grips as well, as you can actually tell. It's been out of like little foam or something. It's pretty uh, comfy. But, oh, and it's actually white, but I just put a car riff on this skin. But anyways, uh, oh, and I even used to shoot with L1 and R1 because you could actually like, you know, tap faster. Maybe if you're holding a gun or something, or you know, you want like trigger finger. So these actually help out um, better. Anyways, back to this controller. This is what I like about it. Okay. First of all, I know a lot of people play a lot, right? Especially there's some people that actually play like 24 hours straight and shit and will Even like playing like two hours and stuff Sometimes you're in really hard situation and your hands start sweating and you don't like that, right? It's sometimes slippery. Well with this controller. It has this nice touch I don't know how to explain it, but it's like really nice and It doesn't have a grip in the back as you can actually tell like the Razer Raiju it actually had like grip here or like the scuff controller but it comes with a lot of grip like all of this is made out of grip and won't well, with this one it doesn't come with that but it does give you that great grip I don't know how to explain it but it's actually pretty good so one your fingers won't be slipping off your hands won't be slipping off and another thing if you're sweating I'm, I'm not I don't know how this is made but this all of this makes the sweat like go away like seriously because I started playing and I felt my hands like sweating but the controller wasn't slipping like, it wasn't slipping and the sweat was like I wasn't sweating that much and I'm just like wow this, that, this is actually helpful another thing that I like is the the triggers I'm actually in love with these triggers this is actually pretty cool um as you can actually tell there's no trigger stoppers but you're gonna have to go to let me put it over here. Hold up. Hold up real fast. Um I can't show you because you have to download the app. This is the app you have to download with the controller? Um it will actually give you a link when you open up the package. Oh by the way, I didn't show you guys um wait, I didn't show you guys it actually comes with cables and everything. But anyways, um, hold up, I can't, oh my gosh, I can't open this. I need my other hand, oh my god. There we go. Now this bag actually has the cables and the weights in here. So yeah, I'll just show you guys that later on. Anyways, back to this. Um, it doesn't have trigger stoppers, but it actually has an application where you can actually customize the controller. And well, you could you could actually program these buttons over here in the back. Uh, the lower button over here, I usually use it to drop shot, so I use it as circle or R3, depending on what button you actually drop shot with. Um, with this one over here, I use it to stab, which is the upper um, upper button in the back pad in the back of the controller. And this one over here, I actually have uh, oh, I have to move a little bit because. Some people are coming in my house, and I don't know who the hell they are. But anyways, and there goes the doorbell. Anyways, this upper button, I use it to change weapons. And this lower button, I use it to reload. So, yeah. I'm a little bit of a bitch if you um, won't be one way or something. I'll probably drop shot you. But anyways, yeah. This is the controller itself. is actually pretty cool. You could actually do that. Now, warning. When you actually buy this controller, it's actually going to be a little bit weird. Now, you can actually change this in the, in the application. The right stick, it's actually going to be so sensitive. Like, it's going to be sensitive. You're going to have to change a little bit of your um, settings. But as well, you can actually change um, the sensitivity in this joystick with the application. Now... I changed it and I feel comfortable with the settings I have in the in the application. I can't show you because I have to plug it in in the in the computer. But 
I feel so comfortable with those settings. Now, it does move a little bit more quicker than my regular PS4 controller. And if you have the settings really, really high as well, you could, like, let's say if you're trying to look up and if you barely move it, look, 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 I'm barely gonna move this. Like, if you barely move it, the characters, the like, uh, camera will go like this. Like, it will just get out of control. Now that's how sensitive this thing is. So yeah, just be careful with the settings, uh, customize them, uh, put them as how you want. And I'll actually show you the settings later on, maybe in another video. But yeah, if you guys actually want me to, just comment down below and tell me. And yeah, other than that, oh, and even in the triggers, uh, the triggers. I love the way there's no trigger stoppers in there. Uh, you could actually customize that in the application and put the triggers that if you barely, look, I'm barely going to press it. There you go, I barely pressed it and it actually shoots so it, it kind of does it has a really sensitive trigger like they have really sensitive triggers you're just gonna have to customize that there is a way to put um to shoot while you just press it all the way down and yeah it's just an amazing controller you could actually do a lot of things with this and yeah that's actually pretty much it for the video today guys i'm just gonna show you the little things that comes with it which is this little baggie as well and it comes with stickers as well too, but I just have them there. Anyways, this is the the cord it comes with. Now, this is another thing. If you don't like wire wire controllers, well, this is maybe not your choice. But I really, really think you should get this controller. It's actually pretty cool, especially for hold up, especially for like what they were calling me, especially for like one hundred and ten twenty dollars. You know, I mean, anyways, um. You're gonna have to be it has to be connected to your ps4 like it has to it's not bluetooth and i made it on bluetooth so that's the thing that kind of sucks but it's actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie the the cable is actually pretty long as you can actually tell and over here and over here and and over here i actually have um hold up let me open it up real fast okay so it actually comes with a little cleaning um wiping whatever you can actually clean your controller or your phone if you want to use it for that and oh my gosh i can't take the weight off and there you go these are weights that you can actually put inside your controller and now in order to do this you're gonna need oh no it oh it fell Oh, whatever. Anyways, you can actually see this little um, hole. This is right, and then this little hole over here. This is left. But hole. Well, you're gonna use this key, and then when you put it in like that, and then you're gonna have to twist either to the left or to the right. And then after that, it's gonna twist, and after it twists, you just pull out the thing. Now it's gonna be like a little tray, and then that's how you put the that's when you put the, the weights in there and that's just to see because there's some people that actually like their controllers like really light and there's some people that actually like the controllers pretty heavy so you're gonna put up to like two weights in there and yeah that's actually pretty much it uh for the um, i forget the name of this <laughs> for the nacon revolution pro controller